recovering photos from a corrupt SD card when you think everything is lost. But it's actually not. Let me show you. Hey everyone, welcome back. Really nice to meet you. I'm Michael from Recoveries, where we deal with a lot of practical data solutions and also help you to recover your files without any hassle and in almost no time. So today we're going to talk about SD or micro SD cards and potentially lost photos. I say potentially because while sometimes they really are gone, because if we crack this into two pieces, nothing can save your files. But if we talk about a failure, malware, virus or possibly accidental format, there always is hope. So I'm going to guide you through a very practical, easy to follow and also smart troubleshooting ways how to deal and handle such situations. First of all, let us talk a bit more about the conditions when and how we can recover some of these photos that you think are unrecoverable. Uh, obviously, if we talk about hardware damage, forget about it. Most of the times it's going to be mission impossible. However, if we talk about deleting them or by accidentally formatting the card, chances are that you would be able to recover some or all of these photos without any hassle. What happens is that the file system marks the space as available. So if you don't write anything on top of this, most likely you would be able to save some of these photos. As a first option, I'm going to show you a professional grade data recovery software. And yes, we're going to download one to share recovery. It. Let me show you how it all works. Being a full-scale data recovery solution, it thoroughly scans your SD card and fetches out all the deleted files within just a few minutes. And since it supports multiple file formats, you're going to be able to recover both images and other kinds of deleted files, including videos from the SD card. As a starter, we need to install and launch recovery on the system and connect the SD card to the computer as well. Once the tool detects the SD card, its icon will appear under the external devices tab Select the SD card as the location where we want to run the scan and click the Start button. Recover it now starts scanning the SD card and it's going to find all the deleted files. One by one, it's going to display all of them on your screen. After the process is over, or in case you terminate it, we can browse through the files and select the images that we want to get back. We can also use the Preview button and check the preview of a particular image. And finally, we select those that need to be recovered, click the Recover button and select the target location where we want to save these recovered images. Obviously, using a professional-grade data recovery software is nice and easy and also with very high success rate. But what if we try some alternatives? Because Windows is armed with some really decent tools that can help us to apply some recoveries. For instance, if this card is corrupt, we might try check disk. This is a Windows utility that automatically scans a particular disk for logical errors and troubleshoots them as well. So we need to launch command prompt and note, we have to run it as administrator. Once it's running, we just execute the chkdsk command and point to the drive letter that needs to be scanned and fixed. Wait until the procedure is over and double check. Are any files available now because there might be some. If that didn't help, probably we can try with reinstalling the driver. Let me show you. This time we go to the Device Manager. We expand the Disk Drives option and right-click on the SD card drive. Now click on the Uninstall Device option to uninstall the current drivers. After this is done, we disconnect the SD card from the computer, we scan for hardware changes and reinstall the drivers. At this point, I think it's a good idea to try again whether the card is readable and whether we can access some of the files. Or if not, here's another good idea for you. Yeah, changing the drive letter makes really good sense, especially if you believe there's something wrong with your operating system. This time we need to go to Disk Management from the menu. We right-click on the drive whose letter we want to change and then click Change Drive Letter and Paths. Once you decide which letter to use from the drop-down menu, click OK save the changes, restart the system just in case and let us try once again. Are any files accessible? Let me know in the comments below. Well, the last method is rather a desperate one and it's relevant to those SD cards which can be detected by the operating system. However, the file systems are 
completely unreadable. We're going to perform a format and then you can go to our first suggestion and try to recover something with Recoverate. So let me show you how to quickly format a drive. Open the File Explorer, right click on your SD card and tap the Format button. Make sure to select the Quick Format option, now select Start and wait for a few seconds until everything is complete. Well, I really hope everything that you've seen so far has been positive and useful. Maybe you can let us know about your particular experience in the comments below this video. And hopefully you would never ever have to recover anything again, because the sooner you get used to backing up the files that are important to you, yeah, the sooner you probably would not need any recovery tips and tricks at all. Although, nah, that's probably impossible. So. If you're interested in more practical data solutions and figuring out how to recover files which pretty much everybody has stricken off, I would strongly recommend to subscribe to our channel for more practical data solution tutorials. I'm Michael, been a pleasure to see you today. Look forward to meeting you in our next episode. Bye!